Hello my friends, I am here at Titan bus stop and bus number 5 is scheduled to come at in one minute's time. So I'm just, you see, bus number 5 is scheduled to come in one minute time. So I'm just testing to see the accuracy of the bus and then we're going to go on the bus and um, do a little ride around my friends. So it says it's going to come in one minute time bus number five to uh, board Stohen. oh this is it in zero minutes the bus is right on time my friends look at this right on time and we're just gonna go on now and do a little bus tour right on time how are we doing <laughs> you can see yes very accurate how are we doing Yes. Ah, here you have it, my friends. The bus was there right on time. I am amazed how this is done in Europe. The buses and the trains are exactly on time. Whatever the electronic board says, that is what time the bus will come. And it's amazing to see. And um, this is what the bus, the bus was scheduled for, 1518, and this is 15, no, the bus was scheduled to come on 1558, and it's 1559 now, so the bus was exactly on time, and this, this happens all the time, um, I'm amazed at the accuracy of the buses in Sweden and all over Europe. Um, simply amazing. This is public transport and um, this is how it is. This was, I'm told, this was an old train station. These are still used. And just doing a little ride around to show you how the buses work in Sweden. Scandinavia so All of these bus stops are connected mm -hmm. And of course my name is Bjorn and The name of my channel is Bjorn in Africa and we think we're gonna have a change over now have some kind of change over there because people people oh see the stuff a bus driver just yeah they're gonna change thank you they're changing over drivers now hi and a driver just come on for his shift he's gonna work the night shift and that is what they do here yeah. in Sweden let me go up to another seat so that you can see a little bit clearer. So that you can see a little bit clearer, my friends. See? So the bus is waiting right now for its scheduled time. Maybe it's scheduled to turn off just after 4 o'clock. So they're waiting for the exact time to turn off. This is a boat ferry. Um, pier right here terminal right here you have ferries that go from here to I think Denmark and other parts of Sweden and it's simply amazing uh -huh. my friends I'm gonna be oh, the bus is turning off now it's gonna turn off anytime now. You can see the ferry there, it's moving. Mm -hmm. So, what they do in Europe and then in Sweden, they wait sometimes if the bus is going too fast or too slow, uh, they would speed up or they would wait until the exact time so they um they are accurate every time um to match so that the bus is match the time at the bus 
station or the bus stops um, well organized my friends see we are still in the city we're still in the city you can see how clean the buildings are uh-huh it's a very hot day today beautiful day lots of people are at the beach today the beach is not too far from here um, lots of people are enjoying their time at the beach not many people you will see walking here on the street they're somewhere relaxing enjoying the sun and you see they have a nice little park here so there's another bus waiting all of these buses are well connected I will be leaving Sweden very soon my friends on to the next country and make sure to stay tuned to my channel and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already subscribe today like the video and share it with all your friends and family because we're doing great things my friends we're over 7,000 subscribers on the road to 8,000 subscribers and that is because of all your support so I say thank you thank you thank you this is the bus I take to to uh, my destination right now see people are getting on the bus you will see many people get on the bus right here my friends yeah many people will get on the bus uh -huh. lots of young ladies and so oh she forgot her bus pass you can see young ladies looking like supermodels and grandma right there uh -huh. baby that's a baby section oh see the baby saying hi to everybody very kind very kind baby <laughs> and you can see all outside as well my friend this is a nice area oh this is a museum right here I have to record I have to go inside this museum maybe tomorrow and show you what it is like inside the medium it's free of course you just walk into the museum you see the bus is passing you just walk on into the museum and you could record you could go all around no charge no hassle hassle free and that is what I am admire about the facilities in Sweden it's free of course to visit lots of historical sites lots of places and they make life very easy for their citizens this is another park right here in the middle of the town because we're in Landskrona town still a lady on the bike there these are bike roads the road all these roads down there that, that you see now those are roads for bikes I'm on the road for cars right now but these are bike roads and you can see a little bit of outside you can see the baby over there lovely family right there Landskrona a town some more passengers will be going on the bus will be getting on the bus again some more passengers will be getting on the bus again uh, it's a young lady scanning her thing she's coming all the way to the back see you can see the good people of Sweden my friends <laughs> This is a very very fun video today I just thought of this idea to do um, a video of me just riding through 
the town because today and yesterday I did a lot of tours on different buses because I got my bus pass, see? My bus pass right here. I'm able to go on any bus and travel all around. So I just go on different buses and travel around to see how the town is. It's a very beautiful town, I must say. Another bus stop there, but there's nobody here. And you have a lady, ladies are getting off the bus. They're getting off the bus, you can see. They're gonna meet their friends now. This is summertime. This is summer. Oh, this, this girl wasn't sure where she was gonna go. So she got off the bus in a hurry. <laughs> Uh huh. I don't know what they're hurrying, what, why they are hurrying in this beautiful city and this beautiful weather. It's a very relaxed city, but the people are moving fast still. Very relaxed indeed. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for continuing to watch all of my videos as I travel all around and show you the different location. This is my first time in Sweden. I would have been here for about a month so far. I'm gonna leave very soon. I've been here just over a month and a few days. I think I arrived here the 6th of July. So this is already over the 6th of August. So I'm gonna be leaving very soon. Um, from Sweden to the next location but this was my first time in Sweden and Scandinavia and I must say that it's well organized well organized so congratulations to Sweden on uh, having such a beautiful country um, country is well organized well developed everything is in order and um, I just thought that I would show you an example today of how accurate the buses are here in Sweden, Scandinavia and uh, most parts of Europe as well. Not many people getting on the bus this time of day. Some people are at work and some are just on holidays young young students you can see outside the bus people riding their bikes we're gonna get off soon and um, we're gonna get off soon right here my friends person is getting on the bus right here I'm gonna get off at the next stop it's a young man right here this is a young man here youngster <laughs> I'm gonna get off at the next stop so what I do I punch this button see and it gives a red light and um, I'm just gonna go through this door this is all land right here and uh, simply amazing my friends and the stop where I'm gonna get off we're gonna it's gonna be a forest area the beach is down this way but I'm gonna go through this door right now yeah As you can see this is a stop right here, humble garden. And you can see. <laughs> the driver almost forgot. Almost forgot me. Here, yeah, so he just remember when he saw me standing. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks, Amaka. Yeah, you can see. It's a beautiful day and everybody is driving. 
all around. Bye bye bus. <laughs> that is how easy it was my friends and this is a national reserve area where they leave the grass growing they leave the trees growing just for the natural environment my friends and these are the bike this is a road for the bikes and that's the road for the car so this is a nice walking road if you want to walk you want to jog you want to use your bicycle you could use this road and it's well built as you can see uh, scandinavia my friends sweden is well developed and these homes right here are very expensive because they're beachfront properties i'm just gonna see if i could get to the beach uh, i may not go but i'll see if i could walk down to the beach side you can see all of this in nature reserve. A lady is up there um, picking something right now. And oh, I could walk down this road and um, just to the ocean where we will end this video. This is a walk path. Uh, yeah, so the traffic will slow down. This lady here in front of me just came out of her house and she's walking towards the beach. But you can see how well kept the lawn is. You can see these properties are very expensive because they're beachfront. And this building has flowers on the roof. Flowers on the roof. And this is amazing, my friends. Look at this. From the city to the beach on the bus. Hmm. Imagine that. I'm seeing ladies walking the road. I see two ladies in front of me walking on the street. Uh, I'm just exercising, it looks like. Look like friends, look like sisters, maybe. And uh, just having a nice walk. And one thing with Sweden, they really put some thought into making life beautiful for their citizens. And you can see. Ocean is. Ah, this is the beach. And these are the beachfront properties. Uh -huh. I am told they are very expensive. And this is one section of the beach. I don't know if you can swim in here, but it's good for walking and ah, very therapeutic, my friends. Therapeutic. And people live here and they get to look at the ocean every morning. So that is why it costs a lot of money. I am told because they stay in here and they get to look across the ocean. That is an island here. Across here. Um, or across here. I think it's across there. Huh. And this tank right in front of us. Um, this metal tank is holds water, my friends. Just gonna do a little walk across to show you. Uh, thank you so much for continuing to watch all of my videos, my friends. Make sure to subscribe right now, like the video, and share it with all of your friends and families, my friends. Like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to comment. Give me your thoughts. What do you think about my videos? Uh, let me know your thoughts because your thoughts are very important to me. So now I think we're gonna either walk up this way, uh -huh. or I think we're gonna walk up this road here, but. They have different roads um, to um, get back. This is the main road right here again. So I'm going back onto the main road. And all of these are beach front properties. You can see. One thing I notice in Sweden, the homes are not big. These homes are just small, but inside is where the money is. It's well luxurious, um, well modern 
and spacious but um, they don't build mega houses like in the US and in some parts of the Caribbean uh, they build just small neat homes and I love these designs with the triangular roof maybe we can build more homes like this in the Caribbean it will cost us less money less expenses because we really don't need um, some people really don't need the big 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 homes um, so let me see if I know where I'm going or I'm at aha aha yes I could have walked across a little bit more uh -huh. could have walked across a little bit more on the beach but uh, here you have it just gonna walk I'll show you the front view now uh, that's another bus number five heading back to the city center or the town center because land school is a small town yeah <laughs> small town and this road again is leading to the beach you have many different roads on different sides of the um, different sides of the um, homes and I'm just gonna cross now try to cross uh -huh. I'm not supposed to cross the traffic but we have some bikers coming now I just crossed to show you the bikers and you can see they're riding the bikes yeah yeah they're riding the bikes across my friends and watching the camera <laughs> they love their bikes here in Sweden this is a lady here and she's a really good rider hi <laughs> look at this land this land I am told um, was used as military training back in like the 15th century where they were training military to fight Denmark uh, used to have many a war so they decided to leave it just like a natural area my friends but this is another lady here maybe in her 50s 60s and she's riding her bicycle that is how life is in, in Sweden people I see people in their 50s 60s 70s maybe 80s or who knows maybe 90s riding their bicycle and this is a gentleman coming the dog is in he's riding the bike and the dog is in the basket in front uh, you're gonna see in a while oh it's a lady and the dog is in the basket in front and you'll see such a lovely 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 dog my friends look like a racing dog there <laughs> yeah and you can see these homes beautiful homes this is another man as well I'm just having a good time okay. here in Sweden uh, yeah. uh -huh. and this is life and the beach is on the north, the next side of these homes right here. Ah. The beach is on the next side of these homes. I may do another video another day, maybe tomorrow, showing you. I was told in these bushes straight ahead, um, years ago they used to hang people in those bushes this is an apartment complex right here i'm going to show you where i was told that they used to hang oh they're waiting on me thank you taxameka that's how you say thank you in swedish language taxameka <laughs> see i learned um i learned uh, swahili asante sana mean thank you in kenya and in sweden taxameka mean thank you as well there's a gentleman here talking Swedish language and you can see how they have the nature and these are apartments luxury apartments very expensive because they're close to the beach I am told and uh, 
But Sweden is a free place. You see, there's no fence. I could just walk in. If I'm going to visit a friend, I could just walk in uh, straight into the apartment. And um, nobody's guarding. I haven't seen a security at an apartment complex in, in Sweden. Not even one security officer I would have seen. Uh, but that is just how life is here. Very relaxed. Uh, we're just going to show you in here is where they used to hang people, I am told, back in like the 14th, 15th century in these trees right here. And they are leaving this as a natural reserve. And you can see there's a part we're going through here. Huh. They would have hanged many people inside here many citizens i don't know where this road is leading this is my first time walking through here but let's give a moment silence of silence to all the fallen um people who would have lost their lives by being hung by the neck until death drew them part here in this um forest Yes, my friends, so in here is where they used to hang many a people, I was told, uh, over the years in the 14th, 15th, even 13th century. So the government decided to leave this area as a natural reserve. So thousands upon thousands of souls would have perished right here in these very trees here. Yeah. Um, I have not seen any ghosts yet, so <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts. But I could find my way back out. See, there's pathway going here, pathway going down. In here actually feels very relaxed. Feel very relaxed in here. Ah. Very, very, very relaxed. And I'm seeing something like a playground down here. So let's go down and see what is happening. So, ah, this is a playground. Look here. They decided to build a nice playground in here for the children. Simply amazing. Simply, simply amazing. Playground at the end of the forest for the little children. Come play here. This is a horsey. Just gonna get on this horsey and sit down. Oh, <laughs> this horsey is rocking back and forth. My friends, let me turn the camera on me to say goodbye. This is where we came from, the forest. Yes, my friends, thank you for watching my video. And of course, my name is Bjorn and I am in Sweden now. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with all your friends and family. And of course, I will see you again in the next video. Much love and Bye-bye.